welcome back to Anne-Marie Sews and you are in my sewing room. I'm joined today by the lovely Benji who's just out of shot down here but he's very content on my lap which doesn't happen very often. So, oh really? So hopefully he will stay here nice and content for a little while. So I've got something really quite exciting to share with you today. My think pink box arrived from behind the pink door um this is i think box number five we'll find out when, I, when we open it so it's just enough should have prepared this shouldn't i really right okay and there is the inside of the box all beautifully wrapped nice and neat which I love to see and on the letter that's in the front it's got a little sneaky peek on there so I'm not going to look at that yet because I don't want any clues to before I open the packet so, I'm sorry more rustling okay um, I won't show you the front of the postcard because it's a bit of a spoiler. Although, actually, nope, you can see it on screen anyway. So, there is the postcard. It's Think Pink subscription so Box 5. And the fabric is in the background. So, I'm guessing, as there's only one fabric on there, that all of the boxes have got the same. I know there was one a couple of months ago where there were lots of different fabrics on the front. Um, like the same pattern but different colourways um, and I know that all the different colourways were in various boxes um, and then on the back it says I'm not easily distracted hey look fabric I like that one and then we've got some knitters marking pins there we go they look like quite chunky pins. I'm guessing when you're knitting, you need a slightly chunkier pin than necessarily when you're sewing. But you can see there, they're quite chunky. Um, I think if you're doing something like a plique, that's probably going to be quite handy um, to have a chunkier pin, pin like that. I do also crochet, not very much and not very well, but I do attempt crochet, so that will be handy for that as well. Then we've got our Gutemann thread which is in white. Um, I've got a little packet here. My sewing space is my happy place. It's a cute little sticker. And these are different bags. Normally they're all pink, like different pink bags. Sorry for the rustling. And inside we have got Wax Hero Best Wax Melt Online and it's birthday cake scented. So they're quite cute. Um, I have got a wax burner. Oh, they smell lovely. Oh, they are really pretty, look. My cute. Put those back. I'll pop those with my uh, candles, um, which I'm just about to see up there, just out of sight. Um, and then our sweet treat this month is rainbow drops, which fits very well with the fabric this month. Oh, this is always handy. It's some white ribbing like you use for neckbands and cuffs. So that's really handy. Oh, you like the smell of the wax melts? Oh, they smell yummy, do they? Yeah. Oh, this is cute. A iron on and sew on um, motif, like uh, badge type thing cotton reel that's quite cute and then the main event the fabric is 
this beautiful stripy jersey which is perfect for summer it's really gorgeous i love that really nice i have to say i do love sewing with jersey i just find it comes together so quickly and i don't tend to have very many fit issues with jersey oh are we done now sorry about that so yes the jersey is beautiful and I do love sewing with a jersey because I just find that it comes together really quickly I tend to not have so many fit issues with jersey because it is a bit more forgiving so really looking forward to that and obviously the um, ribbing is always very handy when you're working with jersey um, so it uh, stretches over the cuffs and things so that's going to be very useful so let's see what did the letter in the front say. Welcome to the Think Pink subscription box. Thank you for purchasing our Think Pink box five. We hope you love the contents as much as we do. To accompany your box, we have created a YouTube video. You can scan the QR code with the camera on your phone or tablet and, or slash iPad, and you'll be brought to a video on our YouTube channel. If you're having access trouble access in the video you can email us at beyond the pink door and we will send you the link and it says in this month's box there is 1.5 meters of organic cotton jersey so there we go um i'm actually currently wearing a uh, like t-shirt dress that i made i can't remember which pattern i used i think possibly it was the georgian ginger drama dress I'll link it down below if it is, or I'll tell you which one it is in the comments below. I'll double check. Um, which doesn't use too much. I might make another one of those. Or possibly a uh, Patterns for Pirates basic tee. Something nice and summery, I think. that's. I think this fabric's very scream summer. It's very summery. So. Um, yeah, something summery. I'm wondering if, depending on the stretch... Yeah, no, it's definitely got more width way to stretch. I'm not sure about a um, horizontal stripe. I'll have to have a play around and see what I can do with that. But I love that fabric. It's gorgeous. Um, so today, with my Think Pink box, I had a, another parcel arrive, which is, just have my address on there, from Sew Me Sunshine. Now, a little while ago, I... Um, made a pair of shoes inspired by the ones that were on the sewing bead, the little canvas shoes. Um, so I made a pair and I entered them into a uh, Instagram competition, um, sewing bead style 2022. And my shoes won that week's competition. And the prize was a voucher for uh, Sew Me Sunshine. And this is what I decided to order. All right, so in the bottom there is a business card. It's got a um, little code on there for me to use for my next purchase. And then I have got a postcard. Buying fabric and sewing are two separate hobbies. And I'm pretty certain you will all agree with that one. It definitely is. Um, which you can see from the background of my video too. In fact, actually, I really do need to get on with some sewing because um, not that you can ever have too much fabric, but that pile's getting dangerously big and it did fall the other day. So I am going to have to make sure I get some sewing in very soon. And um, They also include, which I think is a really lovely touch, um, a little card that on one side is caring for your fabric and it... Um, 
gives you some ideas of like fabric types and how to look after them and then on the other side it says my sunshine project like that and it's got date fabric length width pre-wash my measurements bust waist hip other uh, dressmaking pattern chosen size and then any alterations required and notes so I think that is a lovely uh, little thing I particularly like the um, guidance on the back with the um, different fabric types and how to care for them and it also says that if you enter the monthly competition there's a chance of winning a £20 voucher um, and you just have to tag them on Instagram with your make so I chose oh I love the little ribbon as well very on brand this beautiful um it's a pale green like a pale sagey green um viscose and it's um like a small i think it's a two centimeter roughly grid um from i want to say see you at six i think it was from see you at six again i'll pop it down below what it was um and i thought this would make something really nice for the summer i'm finding at the moment that i don't really have very many um summery clothes um particularly when we do get the hotter weather i'm finding that everything's a little bit too hot um and that i just really want some nice new things to wear and so i thought that'd make a nice dress um i'm not sure what and so if you have any ideas please pop them in the um comments below the one thought I did have was the brunch blouse by Patterns for Pirates, but I have already got a couple of fabrics that I am planning on making brunch blouses with. If I was to use this for that though, I would do it as the tunic length. Um, the other ones I'm planning on making shorter are like top length ones to wear with jeans or like denim shorts. Whereas this would be, um, the tunic length one should I make the brunch blouse with this um but there is enough there to make a dress I think I ordered three meters um so yes if you have any ideas for me please put them below um yeah I'm not sure but I loved this fabric so really looking forward to getting that made i'll get that in the wash this weekend so that as soon as i get some sewing time i will add it to my <laughs> list of things to sew because i haven't actually started on my summer plans yet either so i'm getting a little far behind but i love this and it'll be really nice for the summer it's nice and lightweight so something nice and floaty actually i do have a couple of dress patterns from patterns for pirates and i think one of them is called the so classic summer dress which i have to check whether um viscose is recommended for it but if it is i think that would look really good actually but yeah if you've got any suggestions please put them down below and if you've got any suggestions for the stripy jersey as well there's 1.5 meters of that please pop it in in below um but at the moment i'm off the top of my head i'm thinking probably a t-shirt like the patterns for pirates um basic t-shirt or another jordan ginger drama um t-shirt dress right thank you very much for watching and i will be back again soon hopefully with some makes that requires me doing some stuff right um please like and subscribe and i will see you again soon Bye.